What a magnum amazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Wednesday, 131, 2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was, remember the Sabbath. Exodus 20, 8 through 11 says, remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, your livestock and any foreigners living among you. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything in them. But on the seventh day, he rested. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and set it apart as holy. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Exodus 31, 12 through 17 says, the Lord then gave these instructions to Moses. Tell the people of Israel, be careful to keep my Sabbath day for the Sabbath day is a sign of the covenant between me and you from generation to generation. It is given so that you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. You must keep the Sabbath day, for it is a holy day for you. Anyone who desecrates it must be put to death. Anyone who works on that day will be cut off from the community. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day must be a Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day dedicated to the Lord. Anyone who works on the Sabbath day must be put to death. The people of Israel must keep the Sabbath day by observing it from generation to generation. This is a covenant obligation for all time. It is a permanent sign of my covenant with the people of Israel. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but on the seventh day he stopped working and was refreshed. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. I leave you with this. Over the past few days, I have asked several individuals about the Sabbath and keeping it holy and have been given many different answers. And only one went back to the Bible. Mark 2, 27 through 28 says, Then Jesus said to them, The Sabbath day was made to meet the needs of people, not people meet the need the requirements of the sabbath so the son of man is lord even over the sabbath see god created the sabbath for our benefit for spiritual and physical rest and recovering while we rest and worship the lord jesus christ and god our creator who are the same remember the sabbath day and keep it holy mark 3 2 through 4 says, Since it was the Sabbath, Jesus' enemies watched him closely. If he healed the man's hand, they planned to accuse him of working on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the deformed hand, Come and stand in front of everyone. Then he turned to his critics and asked, Does the law permit good deeds on the Sabbath, or is it a day for doing evil? Is this a day to save life? or to destroy it but they wouldn't answer him see in exodus 20 8 through 11 you can go to your bible and see where it says the sabbath is a day of rest and dedicated to the lord and if we follow the example of jesus it also means we can help those in need and not be selfish because it's the sabbath remember the sabbath day and keep it holy exodus 31 14 says Anyone who desecrates the Sabbath must be put to death, and anyone who works on that day will be cut off from the community. It's because of the grace and mercy of our Creator and the blood of Jesus, our God is a patient and just God and has given us a chance to understand what the Bible says and not go at things with our own understanding. See, you can wake up every day and say, I'm dedicating today to the Lord. However, the Sabbath, also known as Saturday, is the day God chose for us 
to keep holy and to worship him. The Sabbath day is the last day of the week and Sunday is the first day and many people have been deceived and not know. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. See, I pray, I prayed about the Sabbath because I had received so many different words regarding it. And the next day, this is the verse I receive. And the subtitle over the text is observing the Sabbath. Jeremiah 17, 19 through 23 says, this is what the Lord says. Listen to my warning. Stop carrying on your trays at Jerusalem's gate on the Sabbath day. Do not do your work on the Sabbath, but make it a holy day. I gave this command to your ancestors, but they did not listen or obey. They stubbornly refused to pay attention or accept my discipline. Have you noticed there are all kinds of events that happen on Saturday as a day of deception from what God has commanded us to do? You were going to work, barbecues, parties, running errands, football games, basketball games, and many other events to take our mind off of honoring God's appointed day of rest and worship. How will we respond to the command documented throughout the book of instructions? Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you with love, thanks, and appreciation for another day of life and being thankful for you giving me the opportunity to share your words and instructions with others and not my own opinions. Lord, I know that we all must examine our own lives and decide what will be done with the information presented. That as a follower of your son, Jesus, who you sacrificed on the cross for our sins, our purpose is to share the good news to help increase our faith and turn from sin. Lord, I ask that with the power of the blood of Jesus that you cover us and that you will and that we will take heed and not be deceived by the devil into doing what is worldly, but follow what you appointed from your throne because you know there is a time for everything. I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus, all those hearing my voice will leave a legacy doing legendary things through serving our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with the given instructions of your word and that our purpose is your blessing. God bless.